this series. Yeah, 100%. Don't forget, this is a I mean, this is a world finalist last year. Yes. And back underway. We've got match number two, Nick Lee in the red. Nittany Lion Wrestling Club taking on Yanni Diagamahalas in the Blue Spartan Combat. Training out of Cornell. This is match number two, Nick Lee winning the first match. Trying to secure his spot on the world team versus shot attempt from Nick Lee. One of the things that Yanni's focused on the last couple years is finishing shots quickly and cleanly. It was something that he had a little bit of trouble with in match number one. Or if he can crack that code against Nick Lee here in match two. And I think a lot of that just comes down to how deep he was able to get in. He's very shallow. There's another shot now looking to circle around. Is Yanni, he's in deep this time. Let's see if he can finish hard cross face from Nick Lee. Now wizard seatbelt position. Chin and arm now for Yanni. He comes around the body. Body lock for Yanni. But Nick Lee throws him to his back. That's four for Nick Lee. Two offered and confirmed only. And I think that's because it was a counter to Yanni's throw attempt. So as a defensive sequence, it's just gonna be two points for Nick Lee instead of four, even though he did go feet to bat. And crazy to see Yanni end up around that body, but we've seen Nick Lee hit that kind of little step in throw for years. I remember the Fargo Finals, he was hitting that move. Yeah, Two Nick. on one for Yanni, great sequence. And then Yanni got in so deep that time. I was just saying that was something he wasn't able to do in match one. Gets in deep, still comes up on the wrong side of the exchange. Absolutely, and Nick Lee, underrated upper body wrestler. Doesn't always get in those situations, but when he does, he's very comfortable. Halfway through the first period. Passivity warning coming against Nick Lee. As he leads 2-0 now. Yanni earning that passivity call with a lot of motion and fakes. Attacks moving forward. <laughs> Yanni went shot. Nick Lee on the reattack. Drag go behind Yanni. 2-2. Two -two. Working on a leg lace now is Yanni Diakamahalas. Can he get it? No. Parterre defended well by Nick Lee. We're back up, but it's Nick Lee trailing now, 2-2 two -two by criteria. Yanni tried to get that lace going. Lee so good at keeping the knees apart. Back and forth we go here. 2-2 two to two the score. Lee, wrist fight, digs an underhook, now trying to come forward. Lee continues to take ground. We may see Yanni hit for passivity. Looking for that drag and then fires in again. Nick Lee unable to reattack this time. And Yanni's got to be careful on some of those attacks, those long shots from distance. Nick Lee has made a living throughout his career counterscoring those positions. Elbow control on that left side for Yanni. And that's how the first period is going to end. A few incredible exchanges, but just four points on the board. Both these guys pretty comfortable in tight matches in the second period. Nick Lee talked about it earlier. Wrestled Joey McKenna. He was down 5-0. Yeah. Scored 10 straight points. Come from behind, so expect a dogfight here in period two. Shake. Second period underway. Huge period coming. There's a shot right away for Nick Lee looking to counter score here. Chest drop position, but now Nick Lee, after having felt that one time, said, hey, I'm not gonna work for this finish too hard. And savvy from Yanni not to force it. Right. In deep on a single, head pinch for Nick Lee. Two red offered. Two and two, maybe the call. Yeah, instead of a reversal, Yanni was able to expose Lee as he came through, and so now he regains the lead on criteria right after Nick Lee had it. He just had it for a second. So two and two, the, the score. So they go two red, two blue. Mike Gray gets that clarification for the criteria. So we're back at still a criteria lead for Yanni. 
And now he takes that underhook, pulls it to a high crotch. Nothing there, though. Now underhook on that left side. Yanni's still attacking. He's gotten in deeper in match two than he did in match one. Sweep single for Yanni, very extended again. And now he clears out, disengages from the position does Yanni after firing off the attack. Another shot, good sprawl there by Nick Lee. And again, Yanni is just continues to attack. Now trying to finish out the back door, double ankles. Nick Lee's gonna be very comfortable in this position. Can Yanni score? He's close, but not yet. That far ankle keeping, and there's two for Yanni. Can he get a turn? Huge for Yanni to stick with that position. He got the legs locked, or the arms locked around both legs, enabled him to come around and score. Nick Lee was so close to getting both legs off to the side of Yanni's head, but Yanni stuck with it, gets the takedown. Another shot, but this time looking to drag. Not there, though, for Nick Lee. Another shot, he continues to fire does Yanni at, at a rate that's maybe a little surprising. Now Nick Lee is in, now trying to sit the corner is Yanni. Yanni not in a bad position here. Yanni's Can he score? Maybe looking to, he's got to free that left leg to get the two. He's not going to get two otherwise. And Mike Gray imploring Yanni to continue wrestling the position. He does and he scores. 8-4. Great adjustment there. He reached up, grabbed the wrist, was able to get the leg back and got the takedown. And Yanni is so good at sitting the corner, one of the best we've seen. I kind of thought he was resigned to the position, and I don't know if he was just working through it or Mike. I, I saw Coach Gray sort of say, go, go. And next thing you know, he scores it. Now a single leg, uh-oh, two red. Do they call it? It's confirmed. Eight, six, so a two-point score for Nick Lee will give him a lead on criteria. So Yanni's got to be aware of that. So they're going to go back up. Eight, six, Yanni. Two for Nick Lee will put him in the lead by criteria. Yanni should know that. 24 seconds for Lee to work. Now he's back in on a deep single leg. Pulling the ankle though is Nick Lee. He's in a decent position. Yanni needs to not expose. If Nick Lee can expose him a win or a takedown. 13 seconds. Yanni's got to hang on to this leg of Nick Lee. Nick Lee fighting with everything he has to free it. Look at cross lift. I don't think so, but it's so close. Short time. No exposure, I'm sure we'll see a brick. They haven't, yeah, they hadn't seen the brick. They didn't see the end of the clock. They didn't throw the white brick out onto the mat. So they're gonna be looking at a couple different things here when they review this. One, was there exposure? Two, if so, when did it happen in relation to the clock? And this final exchange is from that, that shot. We should see that and just watch it all play out. There were a couple moments it was close. It was close on the crotch lift, but nothing really until that crotch lift. Yanni looked, worked so hard like to points. keep that chest towards the mat. And so nothing here. What you're looking for, did Yanni's back break 90 degrees? Right here, he goes crotch lift, does he? I don't think so. I think he, now that, that's where maybe it was. Right there is the only question, but at that point, I think time may have been off the clock. Yeah, and they'll have to look at the clock. And if they go two here, the match is over. Nick Lee's on the world team. If not, we're gonna have a third and final match. So once again, Yanni Diakamahalas is staring up at a big board that holds its fate. Another replay, just like 2019 Final X. And they're looking closely at this one. And they've got, it's another look at it. Let's see from another angle. I'm sure they're looking at any and all angles and I don't think he does there. I think he keeps it down. The they gave the two. It's over. Nick Lee's on the team. Wow. Nick Lee. Another upset in the first three matches of Final X. And time is up, so this is going to be over. Yanni's got a brick, but I don't know what what they can brick. And Yan, the the mat, the whistle is telling Yanni there is no no challenge to be had.
Man, so at 57 kilos, Zane Richards stuns Thomas Gilman. And here at 65, it's Nick Lee stunning Yanni Giacomahalis. Two weight classes out of three so far, I don't think a lot of people saw coming. No, and just how that all concluded.